Hi, my name is Hetal and in this video, we are going to talk about two types of smart code supported by VWO. So let's head towards the smart code section and we can see that we have asynchronous smart code and synchronous smart code. Async smart code loads in parallel to your website's code, which means while the smart code is being executed, your website codes also can keep getting executed side by side. Because of this, it is not going to add to the page's load time. On the other hand, synchronous code loads sequentially, which means that the smart code would be loaded first and then it lets your website code to be loaded. Because of its sequential nature, it can marginally add to the page's load time. However, it will have an advantage of eliminating flicker issues. Flicker issues are something like your original website might be loaded first and then it implemented the changes that you have done in your test campaigns, which might be a bad experience to your visitors. So sync code is going to eliminate those issues. But because of its negligible impact on the page's load time, async code is recommended. Now, since we have seen two types of smart code, why should we install the smart code on the website? So, once the smart code is installed on the website, it is going to help interact with the VWO servers. Once it starts interacting with the servers, your website will be aware of the changes that it needs to be implemented that are running on the test campaigns and implement those changes to your visitors. Now, it is not recommended that you install the smart code using the tag managers. The reason being behind this is that tag managers usually use asynchronous way of executing the code, which could add to flicker issues or pages load time. And if these issues are occurring, it is going to avoid your visitors from becoming a part of the test campaigns. So the best way of adding the smart code is directly by installing them in the head section of your web pages. Thank you for watching.